am like really lazy. I am chilling in Mexico. And I'm too lazy to get up right now to make this video. So I'm gonna sit here and lay here and do this video. <laughs> so I've been away from the manosphere for probably a couple of months, you know. Um, it's just a toxic environment because the people that inhabit it are toxic people. That's no disrespect to them, but there are certain ways um, in which people act that reflects their, their soul and their spirit, their mind and that kind of thing. And so a lot of these men, they are broken. They come from broken homes. They don't get that. They're just being spoon fed what to say and what to do and how to act. Um, just because they feel like getting a one up is going to somehow help them in the long run, serve them, make their lives better, whatever the deal is. Because when you don't have true knowledge of God and you don't have any understanding of self or your mentality, no self-reflection, then what ends up happening is you, you start grasping at things. So you start grasping at straws, trying to put things together, and anyone can come along and tell you anything. Um, you know, one of the guys is like, to me, they're emotional. They're broken. They are reacting out of their emotions. There's no thought process behind it. One guy says, oh, women are known for being emotional. Okay, you read that somewhere, but at the end of the day, men have emotions, and they're emotional, and they act out of their emotions, you know, and, and these people are coming against black women for having the education, but then sometimes the education is teaching them things like this, like emotional IQ, obviously like mental IQ, and that, that kind of thing, and don't get me wrong, I don't think someone has to have an education to be worthy or to be intelligent, but, you know, sometimes it puts people in a place where they were not before where they can have more understanding of themselves and the world around them and they can move up financially and that kind of thing um, and a lot of it seems to be black women are doing this on a higher level than black men you know I think it's because essentially black women were out of the the cycles that we've been in for so long realizing that we can't really depend on men you know me personally coming from a household with a single mom and she wasn't able to depend on my father or my brother's father um i think her father passed away early and then you know all of our uncles i think only what one of them had kids maybe two because some of my uncles are much older i don't really know them um but yeah they weren't really there for any kind of women in their lives except maybe one of them and so you have this uh repetition of these broken relationships with black men and this has been happening since before feminism you know a lot of them want to use the excuse of feminism of women saying that they don't need a man and it's not that we don't want a husband rather because they say a man i mean it's one thing to have a man it's another thing to have a loving husband who's going to be there as your protector and provider and your support you know versus a man who's just might be in the picture for a little bit so the fact that they're even using that lingo oh you're saying you don't need a man not even like correct lingo that you want to be using in the first place i mean it's just such a, a temporal thing and then on top of that um no it's that we need a husband <laughs> so <laughs> just the language that's being used is it says a lot about their perception um another thing that they say is that if we're going to be dealing with you like they're they're putting themselves in a place of authority or like putting themselves on a pedestal like oh my gosh i want to be dealt with <laughs> it's like um i don't really hear too many other men talking about dealing with women <laughs> like you make it make it sound like it's such a chore to deal with women and that really says a lot about how you perceive women but just how much energy that you have in the first place which probably isn't a lot and the reason why you don't have a lot of energy is because uh you don't have a lot of spirit you know you're, you're spiritually depleted probably because of things that you're doing in life you're going out and sleeping with a bunch of people impregnating a bunch of people you don't have care for your community you don't have care for the women in the community obviously um, and you sit around and you bash them all day long you know that's going to be draining on your spirit you're not going to have any energy to quote unquote deal with these women <laughs> just the fact that you're trying to deal with women and not just get a, a wife is <laughs> says a lot you know and then there was one that was like well i just want a woman to do what i say now i have a man in my family who has this kind of mentality where he's the king and 
everyone needs to do what he says, especially his women. Now, this guy was also kicking his baby mama when she was pregnant. He never really took responsibility for himself and not a gel. So the thing is, for me to do what you say, you need to be a good leader. Me, personally, the only one that's going to be a good leader is someone that is obedient to God, and that's it. Like, that's what it is. You want someone to follow your lead, even though you might be doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing. So, would it be wise of me, as a woman, to just follow your lead, just because you're a man? Like, that's not wise, okay? That's how some women end up getting killed, to be honest. So, a lot of these men, they're dealing with mental issues. They want authority. They want power, because they have exalted themselves in their own minds that deal that or they're just very insecure and they want to feel some kind of control over someone or something the whole concept behind it is them wanting a feminine woman and so they call the black woman masculine because guess what we've had to take your place <laughs> as the men in the relationship and the woman because uh, unfortunately black men have the second highest sexual immorality rate <laughs> The next highest, or the first highest, I think, are like, I want to say it's white men and, and white women, but given the fact that they are the majority in this, in America rather, um, it's not a surprise that they would have the highest, but black men are next after that. Um, and being the third minority, that says a lot. The second minority is Latinos, in case you didn't know. So, you know, you're going off and you're sleeping with all these women. <laughs> creating all these baby mamas and you know you're saying you want a feminine traditional woman but then you are responsible for making these women not feminine and traditional by putting them in a place of having to be a man when you leave and don't take care of your kids and don't want to take care of the community around you the irony is just is baffling me and then you have these feminine women quote unquote feminine traditional women because at this point, I'm not really sure what a feminine woman is. They keep adding and taking away stuff concerning the definition of it. Um, and so these women have been raised in households who, that likely have fathers and, you know, supportive communities that take care of one another. That's what you're looking for. But then one guy was laughing at me saying that you need to protect the women and the community. <laughs> You cannot make this stuff up. And this is why we need to have education so we can put one and two together, you know? Like, you not taking care of the community and not protecting the women makes women that are masculine. <laughs> anyway, it's just funny to me because it's, it's like you're bashing everything that's good and wanting that that is good it's not how it works so i don't know with one guy there seemed to be a big breakthrough but then you know the defense mode comes back up because there's no self-reflection concerning a lot of these men they don't want to accept the responsibility they just don't they don't have the energy to do it and so unfortunately even though i very much believe in you know a black quote unquote black love <laughs> um, I also believe that the family unit is a very important thing you know and I, I mean I literally have like five black female friends that are all married to white men I personally do not want to marry a white man I don't trust <laughs> white men unless they're in the church and even then I don't even trust them because they be messing up their churches all the time <laughs> but um, it would be a very special white man if he were to come in my life. These black women that are starting to date out and marry out because it's seemingly they are finding that foundation and men that actually want to have a family with these other people, you know? And they spend so long trying to stick with black men, but they just didn't want to step up, you know? When I'm having a conversation with a black man and, you know, I'm helping him through his stuff and he literally wants to touch my thigh, there's a freaking issue. <laughs> like, you obviously don't know gold when you see it. You don't know gold. Like, Jacob, when he talked to the father, he said, the woman that gives me water from the well will be my wife. When he met Rachel, she gave him water from the well. <laughs> Okay, and that's when he was like, that's my wife. Instead, he didn't touch Rachel's thigh and, and, and try to solicit her for sex. That's the issue with a lot of these black men. They're, they got incubus and succubus spirits on them, listening to all this stupid rap music, and they've been convinced that life is having all these women. 
what they call him, a buck during slavery days. The buck <laughs> was broken. And then literally he was there just impregnating women. That's literally what you are. It's really sad. So, while I do believe that there are good black men out there, um, there's a lot of healing and self-reflection that needs to be done. Uh, so we could create some more good black men. And the same thing with black women, you know. I mean, I literally cannot go around black women sometimes because of their hatred for no reason. And it comes out of jealousy. It comes out of insecurity and these kinds of things. And you think by going out and um, boasting about uh, the new bag you just bought and, and gossiping about people is going to help your situation. It's not going to help your situation. You're making yourself more spiritually depleted by doing these kinds of things. And yes, it's great that you have your education and you might be making six figures, but at the end of the day, that doesn't make you better than anyone else. They're trying so hard to culturally appropriate other women because they want to be wanted because the truth of the matter is many of these black men and you know I was told at 11 by black guys that they didn't want to date me because I was black I'm like I literally just sat here and did nothing you just you're a racist and you're looking at skin color and things that don't matter and so a lot of these black women they have been trying to take on the appearance of other women because they don't feel attractive and and they want black men to desire them but black men are stuck in their fleshly ways and so they are at this point confused about what they want and they're blaming a lot of it on on black women um i mean everyone reaps what they sow so you know it's all good i think that uh people just need to be honest at this point and uh i don't know if black men will be the first ones to do that unfortunately i mean it's one thing to be at the bottom of the totem pole concerning men um i mean it's like probably very like hurtful to self-reflect and so you know some people just opt out for it opt out of it in general but my suggestion is black women that you go out and you find a husband that's going to love you and take care of you my suggestion is you repent and turn to the father because once a person of another nation is grafted into Israel, they're fair game. It doesn't matter what they look like. So, you guys be blessed. Have a good one. Bye.